Well, hello there. So good to finally meet you. Please come in and sit down. I've heard some wonderful stories about you. And I think you're a very special person. From what, from what everybody has told me, of course. My name is Martina Swarovski. And the reason I have decided to finally meet you is because I'm very excited to start this new project with you. Now I know that at times things get difficult and people go through difficult times, but I must assure you that with your positivity zest for life and your openness to adversity and just overall strength and overcoming obstacles. I know that this project would be the perfect fit for you and you would be the perfect fit for this project. <laughs> now I just want to direct your attention over here. I actually have my book that I wrote, New York Times bestseller actually, and it actually talks a lot about what I want to accomplish with you. So I read your article in the New York Times as well about living a positive and fulfilling and rewarding life despite your past and making your future better. I love the article. I thought it was the perfect touch of whimsical and realism at the same time. I really appreciate all the wonderful imagery you implemented and just the great take on life that you gave. And you are so well traveled and I have been looking through your resumes and I just think you have lived such an accomplished life for your age and <clears throat> I just think that it's time that somebody like you has your talents truly utilized from beyond just a newspaper article. So, what is your feelings towards happiness and your feeling towards Optimism. Mm hmm Well, you know, I completely agree. Good thing we're on the same page. Because I've seen that in this world, there's so much, so much negativity and breeding grounds for hatred and people becoming demoralized and not wanting to reach their goals or their dreams anymore. And I believe that we should go beyond just the self-help self -help book, excuse me, and go to something a little bit stronger, so, or something a little bit more reasonable almost, because self-help books, yes, they are lovely and they are helpful, but sometimes we need to educate the entire person and really show people their true worth rather than just trying to have them overcome an obstacle in their life, but to become somebody way better. So, I mean, I believe that this meeting today is going to help us make great strides in the community of optimism, I call it myself. It is a community of optimism. We look beyond certain aspects of your life and try to dissect why you are unhappy or why things aren't working out quote unquote for you or why you have felt like a failure and 
I mean, we know I didn't come from a very accomplished background. I was just an average student. And now here I am making these great books that people are loving. And I just felt like I needed a partner. And I feel like somebody like you could really help me. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a program that does include books, but also music and CDs, MP3 links to download onto your iPod or onto your cell phone, or um, I'm also looking at calendars, just an entire array of program, uh, an entire program with an array of just different items that you can implement into your everyday life, because we all know that when you read a book, yes, you are reading a book, but once you put that book down, are you really having what the book preaches or what the book tells you to do? Are they really being implemented into your life? So that's why I believe we should get little items that we would use every day, such as keychains to put on your car keys or a calendar that you can place upon your wall or stationery with with all these lovely quotes that we create ourselves. And I thought this would be amazing also to create an interior decorating, um, you know, with your help, your background in interior decorating also comes into play here where we can create books where you can decorate your house or arrange your furniture according to what best suits your mood or what best makes you, ha what makes you happiest. So, I mean, this is just a vast array. I also have different recipes of, you know, healthy, nutritious, happy foods that just make you want to eat, but also feel good and not lethargic. You know, not necessarily comfort foods, but more like health foods, foods that make you feel good. They taste good, they look good, and they're easy to prepare and just things like that. I mean, it's just such a vast array. And the other night, like about two weeks ago, I just was in my hotel room in Paris and I just had this wonderful epiphany that, you know, it's we could do so much to implement happiness in people's lives. That happiness isn't limited to only the wealthy or the lucky or the fortunate or the beautiful. It should be for everybody else as well. So, what do you think? Mm hmm. Yes, I think that'd be a great idea as well. Huh. Well, what should we call it then? Mm hmm. Well, I thought something chic and Parisian would do, <laughs> because we all associate Paris with happiness, romance, love, a, a very artistically inclined existence, really. Or we could even have a set of New Orleans, somewhere very bohemian and very romantic, and with a vibe of happiness and prosperity. Just, you know what I mean? I mean, New York City is a very, very nice place, but of course it's not always the most optimistic or the most safest of places. I view a place like Paris or New Orleans or even Rome as being somewhere, albeit New Orleans isn't the safest city in the world. I think it just has a very... Uh, good spirit and it, um, it just has its charm to it. So, I mean, it's, it's up to you really what, where you want to set this story. And I'm just looking through all of these plans I have and I'm just, you know, I'm really stuck. That's why I decided to call you over and finally meet you. By the way, would you care for some coffee? Yes, it's, um, she just loves this tin can. It's beautiful.
beautiful, isn't it? Sorry. I love putting my my toffee and everything into these tins. It's actually chocolate toffee and it has little coconut slices or shaved coconut on top. Here, would you like some? Very delicious, no? <laughs> wow. Yes, also, I was also thinking, I mean, with my background in fashion, I was thinking perhaps I could do a book also on how to dress appropriately dress um, to make you happy you know just people think that being happy is the state of mind but it also has to do a lot with your surroundings you know mm hmm yes exactly and mm hmm I'm sorry, would you like something to drink? I'm so sorry, I forgot to. I'm just so excited about this project. I, I didn't stop and think, perhaps you were thirsty. Would you like some coffee or any juice? I have fresh squeezed orange juice. I have cranberry juice, apple juice. I have some sparkling grape soda, grape juice, sparkling grape juice, I believe, and I have a little bit of champagne. I have some wine, Merlot. I love Merlot. I also have some Moscato, if you'd like that as well. Prosecco, which is an Italian sparkling white wine. Um, I also have various sodas, soft drinks, whatever you'd like. Like a soft drink? Okay, would you like um, Coca-Cola? We have Sprite, we have Dr. Pepper, I believe I also have uh, some root beer, what would you like? All right. Francis, Francis, yes, uh, could you bring my guest here some, oh you'd like Coca-Cola, okay, uh, bring here some Coca-Cola please, thank you so much Francis. Oh no, I'm fine, thank you. Alright, so, <clears throat> what do you think of the project thus far? Wonderful. Well, I mean, if we look through the pages, you'll see that <clears throat> it's all very much you know, very clean colors. I think the color scheme should be quite pastel, creamy, cream colors, pastels, light pinks, mints, lavenders, um, light baby blues, and just a whole, just pastel all across the board. Especially since we're appealing more to a female audience, I believe that it will be a little bit better and the pastels I believe can really work for any age group from teens to middle-aged women to seniors so I mean I mean if you have any other ideas mm-hmm hmm, hmm. I didn't really think about that.
Should we split it up into age groups or should we make it universal? Mm hmm. Hmm. Well. I'm sorry, I have to finish chewing them. <laughs> I love these toffees so much. But, I suppose if you were to break up the individual programs based on age groups, I suppose we could bring in, I guess, experts or two people from each age group. So from teens to I guess from the teens to the twenties and then thirties to forties and then fifties and beyond perhaps. Mm -hmm. mm. I think it's a great idea. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I really do. Wonderful. Mm hmm So let me just write this down. Okay. So split up into three age groups. And we'll see where we got from there. Wonderful, thank you so much. You see, this is exactly why I called you to come and help me out. Um, so, are you on board? I'm going to have David and Marcus as well on the team. And I'm going to empl employ some celebrity names as well. I'm still looking at that. And, um, I mean, this is all very new and very fresh, so we have a lot to run with at this point, and the sky's the limit. Alright, so, yes. Well, thank you so much for coming, and thank you so much for taking time and discussing this with me. I know I've done much of the talking, but your input was greatly appreciated, and... You are such a promising person, and I know that you have a great future ahead of you with all your great ideas and all the things you've accomplished, so I'm so happy to have you on board with the team, and uh, would you be free on Thursday at 5 to meet with uh, the other two, and uh, perhaps by then I'll have a few celebrities to uh, perhaps help write a little bit. Yes? Wonderful, okay. So I will call you uh, probably in two or three days to make sure, you know, to confirm with you. And I guess we'll meet here in the same place, right? Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. It was wonderful to meet you. And um, you bundle up because it's a bit chilly outside. All right? Okay, thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. Oh, you almost forgot your coat, Francis. Francis, of course, takes forever. Yeah, here he comes. All right, I guess you could take it for the road. <laughs> All right, well, you take care. And if anything, just call me, text me, email me. You know, my office, you know, is in uh, Midtown, so. Yes, all right. Thank you so much. Alright, it's nice meeting you. Bye-bye.